Good morning. I want to welcome you to Parenting 101, featured on Morning Joy every fourth Thursday at 7.45 a.m. I'm your host, Dr. Mary Felton, and each week I will be bringing you tips, strategies, and information to guide you on how to help your students succeed academically. This morning, it is my pleasure to speak with the listeners and just to talk a little bit about not only the learning styles, but the strategies that align with the learning styles. We know many times learners have preferences regarding how they absorb information or how they think they best absorb information. So we're going to talk a little bit about strategies that align with the different learning styles. Previously, I talked about the different types of learning styles, visual learners, auditor learners, kinesthetic learners. And today I am going to share Pacific study strategies because we know that there are no right or wrong strategies they are either effective or ineffective. So we'll first start with visual learners. Now, these learners can organize their work in a living space to avoid distractions. They can sit in front of the room to avoid distractions and stay away from doors and windows where actions take place. They can sit away from wall maps and other bulletin boards to eliminate distractions. Use neatly organized or typed information. They can use visual associations, visual imagery, written repetition. They can even use flashcards, and flashcards have been around for a very long time. All of these will improve memory. They can use notepads, post-it notes, to-do lists, and even other forms of reminders. And this is for the visual learners. They can use organization formats, outlining for recording notes. They can use underlining, highlighting in different colors, flow charts, graphs, or pictures in their notes. Because remember, these are visual learners. We want to also recommend allowing sufficient time for planning and recording thoughts when problem-solving tasks. When they are doing their problem-solving tasks, they need to allow for sufficient time for planning and recording their thoughts. Now, when we talk about preparations for tests, they can use test preparation strategies that emphasize organization of information and visually encoding and recalling that information. They can take a flashcard, for example, if it's a vocabulary test, write the term on one side and the definition on the other side, and just see if they can recall that information before they flip it over and check the accuracy. They can develop a written or pictorial outline of, res of the responses before answering essay questions. So those were learning style study strategies for the visual learner. And I will be also uh, providing uh, those types of strategies for your auditor learner uh, as well as the kinesthetic learner. It is critical that students understand how they best process and absorb information so that they will do well in their academic endeavors. Um, many can also utilize technology as a tool. Uh, technology helps learners prepare for their future professions uh, in this technology-based world. Now, technology as a learning tool provides a diversity of learning and teaching styles. It offers learners a chance for a greater interaction with their classmates as well as their teachers. 
and it encourages easier and better learning and collaboration. I'm sure each of you can think of some way that learners have utilized technology, especially during the pandemic. I will be right back in a few minutes after a song to continue to share learning strategies aligning with the learning styles. Welcome back to Parenting 101. I have several more strategies to um, share with the listeners regarding the learning style study strategies. Um, If you missed it, uh, before I spoke about visual learners and how they could organize the workspace um, to avoid distractions and um, use organizational uh, format outlining for recording notes and um, highlighting different with different colors and use flow charts. So auditor learners, um, they need to work in a quiet space uh, to reduce distractions and avoid areas with conversations and music and television. Um, for the auditor, lear- uh, auditor learner, it's uh, recommended that they sit away from doors and windows where it's noisy um, and where the noise may enter that classroom or the workspace at home. And they need to rehearse information orderly, um, orderly and um, they can attend lectures and tutorials regularly. They, um, it's recommended that they use recorders to document lectures for reading materials. They can remember to examine illustrations in the textbook and convert them into verbal descriptions. Reading the directions for tests and or assignments aloud definitely helps them absorb the information, or they may have someone read it to them especially if the directions are long and complicated. I'm going to emphasize that again. If the directions are long and complicated, they can have someone read it to them, or they may read it out loud to themselves. They need to remind themselves to review details. They can use time managers and translate written assignments and um, they can use written appointment reminders, um, translating that into verbal cues, use verbal brainstorming and tape recording, writing and proofing. Practice writing their answers using old exams and speak their answers. Read aloud their notes. So these are learning style and study strategies for our auditor learners. Now, we know we have some learners, they like hands-on activities. Those are your kinesthetic learners. So they need to actively participate in discussions. They can organize information into steps. They can use practice and play acting. These learners can also benefit from role playing. They can teach the material to someone else. And that is definitely exciting to take the opportunity to teach the material to someone else. And it is recommended that they write the answers to their paragraphs um, or essays, read or summarize directions, especially if they are lengthy and complicated. Use case studies and applications to help them with the principles. Seek out courses that have laboratories and field trips and lectures who give um, live examples of real-life examples. Organize the information into steps that they can use to physically complete the task. These are definitely some great learning style uh, study strategies. And I want to mention quickly um, SMART goals. They need to be Pacific clearly state their goals, and the goals should be measurable. Ensure that they can measure success. It should be attainable. Set the goal that they know they can achieve. It should be relevant. Set goals that are relevant to their career and or their education, and it should, and those should be time-bound. Set a deadline for completion. 
I want you all to go to Amazon.com. I have several publications, Learning How to Learn, and you can um, order that, a Learning How to Learn, an Effective Guide to Teaching and Learning Strategies. I also have a learning journal that's available on Amazon.com. And for some of the elementary and middle school students, Sign Signals and Structures, Making Meaning with Connectors. And these uh, journals will definitely help the students uh, monitor their progress and um, do well. Again, those are available on Amazon.com. Reflections allow them to learn uh, by more careful, carefully considering their experiences uh, that will impact their performance outcomes. So I do recommend uh, ordering a learning journal from Amazon.com. I would like to say happy birthday in closing to Sheila Lee. She celebrates her birthday all month long. I will see you next month on the fourth Thursday.